Electricity that powers the province. Most hydroelectric stations use either water diverted around the natural drop of a river, such as a waterfall or rapids, or a dam is built across a river to raise the water level and provide the drop needed to create a driving force. Water at the higher level is collected in the forebay. It flows through the plant intake into a pipe called a penstock, which carries it down to a turbine water wheel at the lower water level. The water pressure increases as it flows down the penstock. It is this pressure and flow that drives the turbine that is connected to the generator. Inside the generator is the rotor that is spun by the turbine. Large electromagnets are attached to the rotor located within coils of copper wire called the stator. As the generator rotor spins the magnets, a flow of electrons is created in the coils of the stator. This produces electricity that can be stepped up in voltage through the station transformers and sent across transmission lines. The falling water, having served its purpose, exits the generating station to the tail race, where it rejoins the main stream of the river to continue the cycle of creating clean, renewable energy for Ontario. And at the Sanbuichi UC Park in Hokuto Yamanashi is a perfect example of micro hydropower generation. Mountain spring water is the water source. Micro hydropower doesn't require a dam, water directly goes into an intake. The water volume is 30 liters per second. It's only three buckets full, but it's enough to generate electricity. The water runs through a penstock to the powerhouse at the bottom of the slope. The water falls a distance of seven meters. Gravity turns the gap into potential energy thus creating electricity. This is the powerhouse. Water accumulates force while sliding down the penstock. The force moves the turbine generator to produce electricity. This is the same type of turbine generator. The water force turns the wheel inside the turbine, which is connected to the generator. The rotation produces electricity. A generator's output is decided by the flow, which is the volume of water, and the head, which is the distance of the drop. With the flow of 30 liters per second and the head of 7 meters, this power plant has the output of 1 kilowatt. 
it's enough electricity for 10 television sets. At this park, the electricity is used to light up a bridge. No need for fuel, no emissions of greenhouse gases. Microhydropower provides clean energy, just like solar and wind power.